this is the bee binder, friends. I'm going to explain the bee binder. So we have the first page may look a little bit different. This is going to be your reading log. So I went ahead and stapled all of the reading logs. In October, we'll start October. When kids read 20 minutes, have them fill in just one of the pictures. If you only read 10 minutes, maybe even just color half of the picture. You can just do half. If your student has a hard time reading, read to them. You can get online, you can do audiobooks. Audiobooks are always good. After October is finished, you're going to, a student is gonna sign, parent's gonna sign, and then I'm gonna rip this off and I will give them the little Pizza Hut voucher. So keep this in here. Don't rip them off, I will rip them off. Then we have our spelling words. So we are on unit, this is backwards. Sometimes they might be backwards and that's all right. But we are on unit two, week one. We are actually gonna be on this set of spelling words for this week and next week, just how things fall in our Wonders Reading Companion. If you want, you can also check mark boxes to see which one you're on. Another great way to know which words we're on is the fast and fluent page. So with the fast and fluent page, these are spelling words. They match up the same spelling words as these ones. Unit two, week one. It also will say that right here, unit two, week one. So when I send you that text, you'll see it, unit two, week one. So with this, I have students <clears throat> highlight their spelling words. If they're not highlighted, you can always do that at home. I did the same thing with the whole unit two. We have week one, week two, week three, and week four, and week five. I stapled them. At the end of the week, they will rip these off and they'll turn them in. So with fast and fluent pages, we'll keep them in the sleeve. And what you can do with them is time them for a minute and see how, how many sentences they read in one minute. If they don't finish within that minute, have them continue to read all 15 sentences just so that way they get a little bit faster and more fluent with reading. This purple page is our monthly reading goals and our monthly math goals. So I went ahead and went in and saw all of the different, thank you, awesome. So I have all of the fluency goals. They're going to look at their goals and it's gonna say, did I meet my goal, yes or no? So then they circle it. So this is gonna be done in class. Then we have sticky math. So sticky math is going to be whichever facts they're on. So they might be on their plus ones, their plus twos or plus threes. And so with this, most of the time, the students will have a, an expo marker in here so that way they can write on this and do it. Try to time them for a minute, see how many that uh, they get within that minute. And then if they don't finish, have them complete all of it. And I need to update this, but this usually tells us what lesson we're on with our um, student leadership. So this is the leader in me. That way you guys can know what we're doing in class with our leader in me. Then we have our homework folder. So green homework folder, return to school, keep at home. Sometimes the kids put them in different slots. If it's something is undone, say if they save like this one, we did this in class, but if they want to complete this and turn it in the next day, if they complete it with you, I will give them one of their class dollars, which looks like this, and then they spend it on the class store. Most of the time, these time, time tests, if they don't finish all of them, so this is what the minute tests look like. In class, they'll do this for a minute. If they only get to a certain problem, you can see right here, this student only got right here. They're gonna mark it then they're gonna complete all of these. They can, If they don't complete them in class, they'll do it at home and then just keep this at home. So when they actually complete all of them, then that's when they'll be able to pass to the next round. And then we'll change their sticky math facts, this page. So in the back of the binders, we have put some loose leaf paper. This is for, um, so let's see, I think Mondays is, colored vowels so they'll write their numbers there they'll write their vocabulary words and then they'll put the vowels in a different color tuesdays they are going to be writing it three times each and then wednesdays you guys are going to give them the spelling test what you can do is go to that fast and fluent page and say number one is box and then read them the sentence the toy is in the box and so on wednesdays they will do it like a practice spelling test grade it show them work with them and that's it. Thanks guys, I thought a video might be a little bit easier. Thanks.